Welcome back to another edition of ITW, the show that helps you incorporate technology into the classroom. DNA is here back from very relaxing spring break. Did you have a good spring break? I did, I did. I did. We hope that you guys enjoyed your time off and you're back, you're refreshed, ready to go, for, get ready for the end of the year stuff. It's been a while since we've uh, done I one know, year. I know. It's been a while. I feel like it's, it's, been, it's been months, but uh, we're glad to be here. We're glad to be back to, to do another great episode. Um, we have a, a theme that we're going to be concentrating on for the remainder of the school year. And that theme is review. That's what we're going to be talking about. Everything that we're going to be talking about for the rest of the school year, we're going to be focusing on review, preparation, getting everybody ready for end of year assessments. And we have a lot of different tools we want to present and a lot of different things that we want to share. But the theme for the rest of this year on ITW is review. Is review. So what's going to happen, guys, is every week we're going to focus on a tool. It could be a website. It could be a device. And we're going to explain how you can use that item in the review process. Right. So what we're going right. to need from you is feedback. We want to know how you're using these tools, these websites, these devices to review in your classroom because we want to share that information. You guys are doing a lot of great things out there at CMS and we want to be able to share that with everybody else. Exactly. You don't want to just keep it to yourself or your grade level exactly. or your, you know, uh, your cl uh, your school. So we're going to we're going to collaborate, we're going to bring all that information in and then we're going to share it out. So we're going to exactly. we're going to highlight you what you're doing yes. uh, with everybody else. So um, one of the first things we're going to talk about I know your favorite yes. is Google Apps. So right. we're going to talk about how Google Apps can be used in the review process. Right, and we're going to share some some tools, and we're going to be we're going to be very specific about it. We're not going to just throw the tool out there and say, "Hey, this is a good one to use." Go ahead and try to implement it. We're going to show you how it works. We're going to try to give you guys some ideas on different ways that you can implement it. So uh, we're going to try to make sure that we're, we give you the, te the technology, but we're also going to give you kind of the instructional part as well. So what else? Talk about Google Apps for Education. We're going to talk yes. about. We're going to talk about iPads. iPads. We're going to talk about iPads. Not that was only, a winning device. Yes, that was the, the, the ITW bracket winning device. We're going to talk about the iPads not only in the classroom, but we're going to talk about using iPads outside the classroom. We kind of have some some pretty unique ideas that we think do. you guys are going to really like. Um, so so stay tuned for those those two episodes. Uh, but but iPads, I know they're across our district. A lot of people have them. So we want we thought that was an important part of uh, review, uh, we want to make sure that we touch on iPads and different ways you can use those in your classroom for reviewing purposes. Exactly. And going along with, we talked about Google Apps Education, we're going to focus on the Chromebook and, you know, the Google Apps, we're going to talk about uh, websites. Maybe yes. you guys have some great websites that you can share with us and, and share with the entire district that you've used uh, in your classroom to review. Um, exactly. And, um, interactive whiteboards. Interactive now, whiteboards. we've also, we've done a show on interactive whiteboards, but this one is going to be, you know, real s'mores focus on, again, review. We're going to show you guys some great ways to use it to review and give you guys some great examples on how that can be done, how that, what that looks like, um, reviewing with your interactive whiteboard in the classroom. Okay, and then the last thing we want to talk about, we're going to talk about creating videos. Yes. Maybe, you know, your EOCs, EOGs are done or they're just about to happen. You want to come up with a creative way for your students to uh, show that they're, they're understanding for the concepts. Right. And that's and, by creating videos. Right, and then also maybe you want to be able to, to make things available to them outside of the classroom exactly. so they can look at at home. Or and, for the following year. Exactly. And the videos are a great way to do that. We're going to show you guys on how you can do that with the iPad as well with the Chromebook. So we have a lot of different ideas that you guys can, can utilize with that. So what we what we need, and this is imperative, exactly. we have to have everybody participate. We have to have you guys share the information. You know, we know technology, a little bit of instruction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So share with us how are you guys using it? How are you using an elementary school math, English? science, social studies, yes. middle school, high school, doesn't matter where you come from, what your background is, share it with us, we'll then collaborate it, put it all together, compile right. it, and then we'll share it back out on each different right. week's episode. And, and just to add on to that, um, one, we're, we're not going to take it, uh, take credit for your ideas, and if yep. you share your idea, we'll make sure to let people know, hey, so-and-so from this school had this great idea, so we want to make sure that you're going to get the credit for it, but also, if you have something that you want to know more about, if you have, for example, if you say, man, I have Chromebooks, but I would really love to know how to use that more effectively um, as a reviewing tool, we can do that. Or if you want to know more of a, of a website that you could use to teach your students, you know, median and mode and math, you know, we can, we can do that. We, we want to know what you're doing, but also what do you need to know? So that can be a part of your of your post as well. Whenever you're sitting, get your feedback. Right, right. Um, one thing, uh, Aubrey, before we go. Yes. We're not in the normal studio. We're not no, in the small. We're, we're not. At, we're at Devonshire Elementary. We are. 
Devin Shaw. Great. Devin, this is a great classroom. Right. Principal Mary Sturge, Dr. Mary Sturge, thank you so much for allowing us here. We are in a fantastic classroom. I wish we could show you the whole thing, but it is with Miss um, Erica Hanashek. Hanashek. Yes. Yep. Miss Hanashek, thank you very much. We are in your classroom. Uh, you have a fantastic classroom. It should be the model for um, elementary teachers across the district. It is a beautifully done set of classroom. So uh, we want to thank you for uh, allowing us to uh, be a part of your room. Yes. So thanks again for tuning in to this week's episode of ITW. Make sure you guys share uh, your information uh, about the different tools and the websites, uh, devices that you use in the review process. You can email us uh, that information at itw at cms.k12.nc.us or you can tweet us at CMS of the core. Make sure you guys get us that information as soon as possible. And make sure you guys start tuning in next week uh, when we discuss Google Apps for Education, the Chromebooks, yes. and how you can use that review. Mm -hmm.